Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cynic Alex, and today I want to talk about a character that I have tried so hard not to talk about for a long time, Jean Grey, and why she may be a better pick for PvP these days than ever before. I know, it sounds really strange, and honestly it pained me to come to this realization, but she's really not bad. And we know that Jean Grey has sort of always had a place in Marvel Future Fight. She was once so powerful for the MFF historians out there that we called the game Marvel Jean Grey Fight, because you could literally do everything in the game, both from a PvE and PvP perspective, literally every single piece of content with only one character, that is Jean Grey of the X-Men. That has changed for the better, and I don't want it to go back to being that way. Don't get me wrong, this video is not endorsing everyone to go out and build Jean Grey. But for those of you that have her, or for those of you that are on the cusp of finishing her build, take a look at some of these clips. Now, I am cherry-picking particular teams here, and funny enough, I came to this realization that she's actually better in PvP now than ever, uh, because I faced a team that had a Jean Grey. And I was sort of watching my autoplay with one eye while I was doing something else on my computer. And then I had to look with both eyes and I was like, damn, my Wolverine, my Wolverine is having a problem killing this character? What is going on? My Emma Frost is having a problem killing this character? My Emma Frost just died to this character? What is going on? And none other than Jean Grey was there to greet me and shivers went down my spine thusly. So yes, I am cherry picking teams that happen to have both Emma Frost and Wolverine on them. That should give you the biggest hint as to what is going on. But my build on Jean Grey, just so that you guys know, is very pedestrian by today's standards. It is nowhere near the builds that I have on characters that I've featured recently for PvP, like Wolverine, Spider-Man, and Emma Frost. So keep that in mind. Now, yes, we are cherry-picking teams with Wolverine and Emma Frost. I will also show teams with Emma Frost. Emma Frost, by the way, very popular this week in Timeline Battle. The other reason and the other thing that's making... Uh, Jean Grey a little bit more popular is that both Sentry and Doctor Doom are banned because if one or both weren't banned then yeah this wouldn't be the case because you see a lot more teams that were like Doom, Emma, and Wolverine or some iteration of that and then Jean Grey would have a much more difficult time cutting through these teams but when you see teams like Molecule Man, Emma, Wolverine which is also happens to be the team that I've been running uh, Jean Grey suddenly has a fighter's chance it's really interesting. Her damage kind of keeps up, but more than that, it's the insane survivability that she's afforded due to her almost unique stats. Now, here's the thing. It's not all the prettiest thing in the world, okay? As much as she's good for this week of PvP in Vibranium, for example, there are weaknesses. There are limitations to Jean Grey's powers one of whom you may know as Spider-Man. Yes, I got it there, because I didn't want to show you guys, but, uh, and by the way, this is pre-recorded uh, gameplay footage. I wanted to show you guys and be able to talk over it rather than having to talk simultaneously, just so that it's easier. I can cut out searching for opponents. I did fight some opponents back to back, like sequentially. So, you know, it's, it's really easier this way. Here, I was actually shocked that she tanked that she almost tanked the entirety of Cersei's awakened rotation and was able to get the kill in return. And then you can probably guess what happened when Spidey came back to rumble. But I've waited long enough. We're four minutes into the video. Thank you so much for watching this far in. If you haven't already smashed the like button, do it. If not for me, for Jean Grey and the Nightmares of Old. If you haven't figured it out, what it is that's making Jean Grey actually competitive. And I'm saying that honestly. I'm not saying that sarcastically or facetiously. Uh, it's her resistances. Thanos and Jean Grey are the only two characters in Marvel Future Fight that were given an absurd, an absurdly high amount of resistances to basically every element, right? We've got poison, fire, lightning, uh, ice, or cold, sorry, and mind. And particularly when it comes to Emma Frost, of course, mind damage, as, although it looks like it's cold damage, it's mind damage. Um, and then for Wolverine, of course, with the new Phoenix 5 uniform, it is fire damage, right? So these two elements are heavily at play in some of the best PvP characters in Marvel Future Fight. Now, I have left out some of the other powerhouses. You have both Eternals, Gilgamesh, and Cersei. You have Hela. You have um, Sentry and Doctor Doom and Spider-Man. I left them out because, like I said, Sentry and Doom are banned. And then I'm sort of avoiding Gilgamesh, uh, Cersei teams. And then, of course, I'm featuring now what happens when you fight Spider-Man. This battle, however, was really epic. 
Okay, so we get out to an early lead, but Spider-Man bounces back, goes through the motions with his 4-5 combo, gets us webbed up, we die, but we're coming back for our second life after killing Emma Frost. We try to get some licks in, but he dodges with the fourth skill, leans into the third, has us on the ropes here, but oh, she starts healing back up. She dodges, barely dodges death here, narrowly escapes, but then succumbs to Spider-Man. Here, I get clobbered by a uh, Cersei with her 4-5 combo, not even her Awaken combo. I get her on the wake up. I get the clip off with crazy high damage there, 70 to 80,000 per hit. But then, of course, she revives and the artifact sort of shows its valor. So let's look under the hood for Jean Grey now and see what my build looks like. And also the five lines of text and numbers that make up the sole reason why she is suddenly, again, relevant and somewhat competitive for high-end one versus one pvp action now i am a 21,000 rank so that should tell you all you need to know right away for my build also keep in mind that her base hp there was 103,000, but i am inflating it by 60 percent with both victorious and red she hulk so with them both i'm able to achieve almost 140,000 hp that's 35,000 more HP the normal without those two if I didn't use someone like Colossus or Hella then she would get shredded much more easily just think back during those first four minutes worth of clips how many times I just barely survived Wolverine Emma Frost even Molecule Man but as far as the build is concerned for Jean Grey look at this no Odin's blessings you gotta be kidding me these days in PvP to get away with kills on high level meta build characters with artifacts without Odin's Blessings is near impossible, especially on auto when you can't cheese manual play. As far as the uh, type enhancement goes, I've got a rank five universal set for this Marvel Girl uniform. Now you're probably wondering why I'm going with this one over this one. The resistances are identical, so it's not that. Actually, the universal one has a little bit higher stats than the blast one. And then the blast one, while it does have a slight advantage over combat types because of the combat typing versus blast typing, you know, rocks, scissors, papers, it gets punished even harder by speed types like Spider-Man. And, you know, the fight that lasted 20 seconds, 25 seconds versus Spider-Man with this uniform would have lasted five seconds or less with this uniform. She would get one shot much more easily and of course the universal set actually gives me more damage versus blast types which will help her versus emma frosts and cersei's so that is very interesting it does make her a little bit weak to ebony maw counter but like i said with doom and sentry both banned if you go down the list of top 50 players no one is running ebony because no one is running any universals at all everyone's running spider-man gilgamesh cersei hella emma frost and wolverine that's it the only universal you're gonna see is hella or um, Molecule Man lead, and that's all. As far as the ISO, we got pow uh, Binary Power, excuse me, not Power of Angry Hulk, I think that one's over here. We've got Binary Power, Stage 12, and I honestly think she kind of needs the defenses. We got no artifact, so I could slap one on there for like decrease pierce damage received, or something like that. Um, and then we've got a CTP of Greed, a non-reforged CTP, that's right. On a uniform from 2020, with a non-reforged CTP, and no Odin's Blessings. And we're taking down the metas. My girl Jean Grey, Jeannie Grey, still got it after all these years. So now let's take an even closer look at what is actually going on. Take a look at those insanely high stats in the bottom right corner, just above the debuff subheading. Mind resist, poison resist, lightning resist, cold resist, fire resist. 100%, 100%, 105, 110, and then a whopping 140% mind resist. That is insane and borderline broken OP. And then we wonder why she was so strong for so long. And if she ever gets a really good PvE uniform, you know who's never gonna kill her? Yeah, Mephisto. Because that boy deals exclusively with the fire damage, and she's rocking exclusively 100% base fire resistance. To give you a sort of idea of what her resistances look like in the face of some of the highest metas in the game, take Sentry, for example. What do his resistances look like? I wonder. Oh, uh, his resistances are a joke. He's got 5% base resistance. Five. Literally 1 20th of Jean Grey's base resistances. So imagine if Sentry had 100% or 140% mind resistance. That would be a completely different story versus Emma Frost now, wouldn't it? Okay, I don't want to stress the resistances thing too much, 
you can try something th something cheeky like a resistance uh, mind resistance lead in PvP like Loki, but I'm sure it's not going to have as much of an effect as we think it's going to have. And no, before you ask me in the comments, having a mind resist max HP invincibility proc obelisk is not going to be better than regenerations and authorities for PvP. I wish that were the case, or I wish it was a bit more competitive and a bit closer in the standings, but it's not even close. Let's take a look at Doom, for example, the de facto PvP god. Some... Oh, some sick resistances on Doom. 0%, bro. A whopping 0%. So you sort of get the picture here. Almost every other meta god for PvP has borderline zero resistances besides Jean Grey. And that's seriously the only thing that keeps her relevant specifically, exclusively against those of... Uh, of, of the PvP metas that are dealing in those types of damage. In Emma's case, it's Mind. In Wolverine's case, it's Fire. So what am I really trying to say? Well, what I am trying to say is, if I can actually find him here, cross your fingers and hope that you never, ever, ever see an elemental uniform for Spider-Man. Because then, that'll be the day that Jean Grey finally does take him down. The other thing I want to point out, in case uh, in case Thanos does get a uniform, and I'm still holding out hope that he does, and I'll be very I'll be pretty upset if he doesn't. Take a look for a second here, and this may be a glimpse into the future of the PvP meta at my boy's base resistances. Not as high as Jean Grey's, but he's got a whopping 50% base resistance for all five resistances. Yes. So, who knows? We'll have to wait and see. So yeah, what do you take away from this besides the possibility of using Jean Grey for some fun PvP wins? Keep an eye out for any future PvP meta and take a look at those resistances, because they actually matter a lot more than we think, especially when the existing meta, the incumbent meta, is made up, you know, at least, you know, 20-40% of it is made up by characters that are heavily dealing in one type of elemental damage or another so yeah that's the video for today guys thank you so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed the content you had some fun and you learned some things smash the like button leave a comment down below and i'll see you in the next one take care